dead guys that people don't get They don't understand that I will not let anybody ever try to tell me how to live Deep below me shit, gotta learn to get So if you see me, I'm walking all alone Tripping in my zone, talking on my phone Don't be afraid to this place, this place is so busy, MJ. We have to park all the whole other, the whole other end. I hate. It's like, how busy do you think it's gonna be when the Batman's out? Oh. Now I know it's called Dark Knight, but don't you feel more positive calling it Batman? I do. It's like the first one without the word Batman, the name Batman, and it. Puts That's like the way you do it. You know what I mean? Well, how busy is it? Uh, you know that Friday after Thanksgiving? Yeah. You know what that's like? Yeah, it's, not, it's about that busy. It'd be kind of like that. And there's a lot of really bad dri bad drivers. They're like up in your asshole. Ugh. I think I'm getting the um, horse gas from the um, buffet. But MJ doesn't like bathroom humor. You got your hair all waving in the wind. You can't help it if it's windy. I know, people are all like, wow, MJ's hair is waving in the wind. Are they, or just you like that? I don't know, is anyone else out there like MJ's hair is waving in the wind? Or am I just like that? Am I the butt who likes to point out everything? Points out every single thing. I know. Changing sides? Yes. Remember over there a couple of weeks ago we went to um, Don Pueblo's? I'm sure it was more than a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, a couple of months I think. Yeah, that's more like it. And then we went here and it was, you hated it, the Kobe. Yeah. You had like it's a... It's already summer. I, mean, you go there. I know. Wow, MJ, there's a lot of life in this place, you know? Yeah. So many people gathering together and, you know, Discussing life's great plans and, and, and riding motorcycles, if it, you know, tasting fancy cheese and wine, going into the leather store and laying down on leather, you know, looking at prescription glasses, you know, building your own ride, look, looking back at the great moments of memorabilia and sports, going to Verizon and getting a new telephone. They're doing it all here. You know why? It's because this is an outside mall, MJ. An outside mall. MJ, a band! A band! Do you want to hang out with the band? Do you? Come on, MJ, let's go hang out with the band. Come on, MJ, go hang out with the... Well, I'm sure if you go this way, we can make it out. I mean, I don't know. Does it look like if you look back, go back there, it looks like that's a road that leads, doesn't lead anywhere? To nowhere, and the, the castle, castle stays the same, and the mother tells the daughter, Wait for the rain, wait for the rain, and the road leads to nowhere. Does anyone know what that's from? So we just got back to the car and it turns out, MJ, that you left the door unlocked. Oh, you got to tell everybody. All that time. Well, I, I swear, I pushed the lock button and I shut it. It should have locked. It's not my fault the car has problems. I know, but you, you, you realize someone could have stolen my cassette tapes? Oh, I'm sorry. Sometimes if you listen really hard, you can hear up. What? Well, you know, those glasses, MJ, you're not supposed to wear them out of the theaters. Why not? They're 3D glasses. They're not sunglasses. They well, destroy you see the sun. They destroy your vision, MJ. They you don't the, wear them in public. They said the same thing about laser pointers, and I stared at those all the time, and I could see fine. Or is it just because I'm a freak of nature? I don't know, MJ. So we just got out of seeing Journey to the Center of the Earth 3D. Yes, the 3D version, not the 2D one. Yeah, that's why I'm wearing these, to actually prove that we saw it in 3D. Not the 2D versions that are in some theaters. And the, and the truth is, if, if you, the, the only version that's playing is 2D, don't go to it. Yeah, it's, it's, probably, it's, not, worth, it's not worth the while. Don't pay the money. There's no point. Because the thing is, everything about the movie is made for 3D. They have all these gags where things are thrown at you, and like things flying out of the screen, and like gags when like they pull out tape. 
deep and all. And there actually was some like two trailers um, in the opening that were that were in 3D that were so close. I swear I could have touched it. Especially that one about like the bees or the bugs or, or those bugs. I thought it was going to be space chimps. There's this other one about these like little bugs that go into space. And like the stuff was like. Like that. I swear to God, if you you swear, you, you feel like a fool, like reaching out and not being able to touch anything because it looks like it's right in front of you. I know, but like, the thing is, some people might be like, well, 3D, it's like, like I don't know, it's like, don't go to the 2D one. Don't, I mean, no, it wasn't a bad movie or anything, it but you need, it was a good movie, but you need to see it in 3D. I'm sure even the like the directors and everyone's like, see the 3D one. It's like, why, why the hell did you even release I, the 2D version? And I think, don't you think that all theaters now need to really just get 3D? Yeah. They need to like get it together and get it. Figure out what they need to do. So we right. So we do. We recommend this movie. Yes, we uh, recommend. Like an order of ba like good movies. I I, so I give it like three to f about four stars. Four, yeah, so I give it four out of five. Or three and a half to four, something like that. But out of all the movies today, uh, well, let's rate them in our order. And my order is first, um, Meet Dave. All right. Journey to the Center of the Earth and Hellboy Two. And that's what's your, what is your, that's yours too? Yeah, Meet Dave, Journey to the Center of the Earth, 3D, not 2D, and. Um, than Hellboy 2. I know. So I, I recommend it only in 3D. And over there, MJ, is TGI Fridays. Yeah. And over there is the Hampton Inn. And it, over there is Ballet Totally Fit Fitness, where we should be working our glutes. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. And up there is the moon. There's MJ's moon. Up there, straight ahead, see it? The moon. And MJ, I can crush your head, too. I can crush yours. I can crush your sack. I can crush yours. <laughs> well, I wonder, uh, it's funny, it's triple feature, we're dealing with 3D, and then we're dealing with the fact that, like, we're giving folks a double feature. And you want me to, I want, I'm going to give some people some, uh, like we did last week, Hancock shots. Hancock. You stay still, and I'm going to do it, and then you can do it. Oh, okay. Now your turn. All right. Oh, it's like Hancock. Will you succeed, Hancock? What are you going to do? Yeah. So, do you think anyone's even going to know about this second video? I mean, hope I hope people go and check it out. The second. Well, I mean, you know, people saw. I mean, if there's a set. Focus, damn it. There's a set of videos that like, I didn't want people to see, they'd still watch it. So, and, you know, I want people to see this, so I don't see why not. I know, so I guess we're gonna go now up in, in the car. So, you wanna go now? Yep. Damn it. Think. Didn't work. What? Because this the unlock it's doesn't. Not my fault. The unlock doesn't work. I, every single thing is fucked up on this car. See, I, it, it's not my fault. I, I did everything I could. I know. It's nice and peaceful out front of 7-Eleven, isn't it, MJ? Ah. Yes, it is. Hello. 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 How you doing? How you doing? Good. So, so we got some snacks. Yeah. Ah! Ah! Don't, say anything. Don't show or say anything, what MJ? So MJ, it's the end of the night and it's 2 a.m. in the morning, and I'm taking you home. And we watched a few scenes from Redneck Zombies, The Curse, The Curve. And we, ate, we sucked on a lot of nuts. You know, pistachio nuts. And what else did we um, watch? We watched. And you tricked me with Pop Rocks. And I showed you the first five minutes of The Dark Knight on the Batman Begins DVD. Yeah, it kind of sucked because we, just when it was getting good, then they started showing clips and made it look more like a trailer. I know. So I'm taking you home now? Yeah. Oh, and 
also you managed to skip through. It was on the DVD of um, Dark of um, the Batman Begins. And you skip through. It's like let's see if there's any inspiring scenes in this whole movie. And then we skip through the whole movie. You know, just fast forward and skip scenes. And it was like, right, I'm gonna do this. Hey, Bruce, we do this. Hey, Alfred, do this. It's like, hey, it's like, hey, I'm the Scarecrow. It's like I have big lips and I could be, you know. <laughs> okay, and do we get All right, that? and then it's like I was like, wow, I'm like that was the whole movie. Wow. And then we watch uh, we watch the Tim Burton ones, and it's like, you know, this is what Batman is. How can be no one? How can none of you see that? I don't know, Jay. I don't know. It pisses me off. So, do you want to wait? These, nut, these nuts will make me feel better. Yeah. Now, don't you're done filming with your camera tonight, though, right? You're not doing any more. No, I'm not. I'm not doing any more. Okay. So, good night, everyone. Good night. If you watch this in the morning, good e good morning. Good morning.